Hey guys, so we are in Lola's room and we are hoping to do a little revamp today. This room has been a little bit neglected. Um, sorry, second child. But um, yeah, we are wanting to do a little bit of a touch up. I don't know, like it's just a little bit bare. Um, I did it in a bit of a rush last time. So the lovely summer from the Little Ray Prince has been kind enough to offer to come down and install um, this wallpaper that I've had sitting in our shelves for more than I'd like to admit probably a few months so um, yeah she's been kind enough to offer to come down and install it give our feature wall in Lola's room a little bit of love all right guys so summer is here Hello. this is summer from little Ray Prince. <laughs> so she's about to start installing the decals and I'm very very excited to see the transformation of this room Oh, so there's different thicknesses. Yeah, there's three different in the pink and three different in the white. And what it does is makes it, at the end result, makes it look um, 3D. So it's like that one. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Frost level is high right now. <laughs> So we've been talking for the past, I don't know, hour, just chin wagging Sam and I, um, but we are all done. It looks it, beautiful. I'm so happy with it. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to walk in here at night and every morning and just stare at this beautiful wall. Thank you so much Sam, for coming <laughs> My down. pleasure. Yeah, and I'll list uh, Summer's details of Insti and her website in the description box below. So I'm about to do a workout in the home gym. Um, I'm going to just need a kettlebell and a box and a skipping rope. So hopefully you can do this one at home. I'm gonna film it for you and let's get through it together. So this is six rounds for time, I think. of you asking what I do as a warm-up most of the time I'll set up my equipment and then I will jump into the workout but at body weight so I'll move through the list of movements with no weight added as you can see I've done like a deadlift movement and air squat and then step ups on the box and I might do two to three rounds and increase my weight by a little bit and then find a weight that really is going to work for the workout done and as you can tell sweaty mess and it took me 16 minutes to do super simple quick workout that pretty much anyone can do and I can already hear some of the questions coming in I don't have a kettlebell I don't have a box you pretty much could do that workout or body weight any of the workouts that you see you know um, and you don't have a lot of equipment I feel like 
we can all look at something and go, I can't do that. And that's like the first excuse that comes out of my, anyone's mouth is like, oh, I don't have the equipment. But it's like, if you have a door, you have a gym. No, I'm just joking. But like, seriously, our bodies are machines. Like if you don't think you have equipment, your body is the only tool that you need to get fit and healthy. You need to find ways around that will work for you. So yes, we're very lucky to have some equipment at home. We previously owned a gym for like six years. So of course we're gonna have a decent amount of stuff that we utilize. If you haven't yet invested in equipment, you could easily turn that into um, 10 deadlift jumps. Give you a full demo. All right, 10 deadlift jumps looks like this. So touching the toes and jumping up. Kettlebell swings could be, so if you think about what a kettlebell swing is, it's like hinging at the hips and squeezing the glutes. So you change that lying down, squeezing the glutes. 10 of those instead. Goblet squats, change to squats, front rack step ups, change to front uh, forward stepping lunges. Okay, double unders, high knees, or mountain climbers, or bike or row if you have a machine. So those are, hang on, hang on. And you know what, if you can't do Six rounds, do four rounds. If you can't do four rounds, do three rounds. Just start. I got a lot of questions about how I get up early in the morning. And you know what? I make priority, I make sleep a priority. And that's really hard coming from someone that's got a six month old, but she's kind of just started sleeping till 4 a.m. And I've been utilizing that. If she's going to sleep at, if she's sleeping from seven till four, I am going to bed at 8.30 or 9.30. Like in between that time, I'm asleep. I put Lexi down. I have dinner and I get to bed and sometimes I've been having dinner with them so that I can shower with them get them to sleep and then I'm in bed like sleep is a huge priority to me and it has to be when I'm wanting to get up at four and last the entire day with work two kids and, and no naps naps were such a luxury with the first and only child it doesn't happen anymore and I'm working more than ever as well so sleep is a huge priority if you want to get up and train in the morning, then go to sleep earlier. However, I'm a morning person. Like I always, I haven't always been, but I've been a trainer for the past decade. Getting up at 4 a.m. has been something that has become a part of my lifestyle. I'm very conditioned to it. And I, I find like 5 a.m., like it's like 6.30 a.m. right now. And I'm like, bing, like I'm ready to like tell you everything. And like, that's when I'm like the most high functioning. That's when I'm like working the most and the most on. And I know so many entrepreneurs. I know so many fitness people. I know so many moms are night owls and that's when it works for them. So they train at night. Like just because I get up at 4 a.m. that just works for me, but it might not work for you. So it's just about committing to a time, committing to a time and figuring out what's realistic for you. Like three times a week, four times a week, what is realistic to you? Um, another question that I got, one more before I kind of sign off, is, um, it's coming. <laughs> oh, the last question was, what do you get, like what do you aim for in the morning? Because, you know, some of you were saying, I've got two kids too, or I've got three kids, and I don't know what to get done before they wake up. Like, how do you plan your workout? And I, gen like, I think as a mum, you generally know, like if they're stirring by the time you're, like you've made some ruckus in the, in the house, that, that's when I'll get a, like I'm aiming for 15 minutes and I just go high intensity I do a five minute warm-up 15 minute workout and I'm out because I know that they might wake up if they go back to sleep or if they're still asleep that's when I'll do my strength set if I get up super early and I'm in the gym at 4 30 a.m. and I know that they're, they're you know they've had a late night and they're sleeping in a little bit I'll do strength or I'll do 45 minutes on the bike, or you know, I'll aim for a little bit longer of a session, but I get it wrong all the time. They interrupt me and they're like, hey mum, I'm awake. You thought I was gonna sleep for long and you're only one set into your first string set and you haven't done anything. And then I just try and figure out what I'm gonna do then. Sometimes I'll take them for a walk. Um, sometimes I'll just see if Lola will sit in her high chair while I do like a 10 minute something. So, and sometimes I just throw the towel in because it's just not even worth it. Okay, I think that's it. Guys, I think this is the end of my vlog. I've kind of just pieced this together. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified when I do upload. 
thank you for your patience um, in my break over YouTube over the uh, Christmas break I have been spending lots of time with my family organize, organizing my home decluttering my life and I feel amazing so despite this voice I feel amazing so um, right now I'm hustling hard for this tour that is like eight weeks away and I'm so excited um, if you are in Melbourne, Adelaide or Brisbane. I still have tickets left, um, but they are selling. So please jump on and I would love to see you in your hometown and share a little bit about my life. All right, I love you guys. I would love some feedback in the comment section below and also thumbs up because thumbs up are awesome. All right, I love you guys. Is that it? I just don't want to forget anything. I think that's it. <laughs> All right, love you guys, bye.